Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I'm Wack, and welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about a Karen who absolutely lost their goddamn mind when fireworks went off in her part of town, man. But before we get into that, please do subscribing as it's totally free and you can always unsubscribe later. Also leave a like in the video so the YouTube algorithm will like my channel more because currently they've been putting my sh through the shitter because they do not like my channel at all. So leave a like so YouTube thinks otherwise. Also, I have a Discord. There's a link in the description. I also have a Twitter where I talk to a lot of people because I like to be on Twitter. You know, I see a lot of idiots. Most of the Karens I find happen to be on Twitter, so go ahead and follow me there. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this beyond bizarre Karen freakout. Bro, you gotta calm down there before Grand Zeno puts you in the Universal Tournament. Also, if you don't happen to get that reference, it's from Dragon Ball Super. Grand Zeno is like the being over all beings. I'm not gonna explain this for long. I know I'm a weeb, I'm a loser. But basically, Grand Zeno got the most powerful people like Goku and whatnot. And it seems like this Karen is going Super Saiyan. So the best person I could compare her to is that of Goku. If a Karen pulled up to my neighborhood and did that shit, I would get one of those Roman candles you can buy at, like any fireworks place. Light it on fire and you can guess what I'm gonna do next, bro. Pointing it right at her. Boop! But, of course, that's a joke, YouTube. I would never do that. Although, I do have footage of me and my friend and my brother. I lit a Roman candle, and I was like, hey, you guys better start running. And they look at me, and they're like, no, no way, you're not gonna do this. I looked at them with the biggest smile on my face, and I just chased after them, dude. I wasn't even paying attention to the Roman candle. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically something they'll just shoot, like, little pellets ahead of you. But they're, like, firework pellets, so they're hot, fiery. And, yeah, if this carrot was in my neighborhood, bro, that's what she'd be getting. Or some firecrackers at her toes. Holy shit, she's about to go mutant mode, bro. She is about to just lose her mind. She is about to become a parasite from parasite. This video isn't gonna be very long, but I'm gonna poke fun at this character just a little bit more because why not? Like, I have zero idea how people grow up to be like this because I know people in my family that don't like fireworks whatsoever, and when we do them, they get kind of angry. And for a perfect example, when I had my friend over, my brother was outside, my brother's like a pyrotechnic or something, dude's like trying to light all the fireworks. He's trying to light the ones that shoot really high in the air and make a very loud noise. We're gonna go a second with Without hearing from the corner of our ear hey you better go through the yards and pick that shit up and by the time we were done with all this stuff if we were made to go through all of the yards all the neighbors yards and have flashlights out and look for the debris and I actually found some so I mean it was a good call and I'm sure the people that did these fireworks shows man I wish I could see it I don't want to see this fucking Karen on screen anymore it probably did the same but this happens to be the most childish shit I've ever seen like you're literally a grown-ass adult you could be my goddamn mother if you really wanted to be and you are screaming at the top of your goddamn lungs arms behind your back Gotta lose it. Like, don't you have kids? Also, let's bring up the mere fact that you're going outside. If you don't like this shit, stay your ass inside. It's very simple. Also, it's 4th of July, woman. Are you kidding me? One day out of 365, are you really gonna throw a tantrum like this? I'm surprised you weren't on the ground, rolling, crying, hitting your hands on the ground, saying, Oh, stop it, stop it. Well, you were doing the stop it part, just not the rolling and hitting. his face he's like dude what in the hell is happening a man's just watching the pretty fireworks which i can like see it kind of the reflection like the red the green just everything man it looks awesome and the dude's just looking at it and then she, he slowly but surely hears stop stop approach behind him and he's like oh shit am i about to get shanked am i about to get stabbed by some karen who can't take fireworks one day out of 365 i have three dogs all right and on the fourth of july all three of them really lose their mind and my grandma's dog who comes over which is a big old dog He's a huge dog. He's a huge golden doodle and he loses his mind too. Although I'm not going to stop the fireworks show just because three dogs are being a little wimpy. Although I do have one dog. He's our dog and th there's something wrong with him. I swear to God. He kind of just sits in the rain and eats lightning. I, I don't know. There's so we need to get him checked out. Either way, the moral of this story right now is the world does not revolve around you, Karen. You are literally walking out of your property line to say, stop it. Also, in a later TikTok, I'm gonna put a picture on screen right now. I know, future Gavin, future editor, man, I'm sorry for this. But, like, it's an open space. This is clearly the main center part of their neighborhood, and she is losing it over that. They're not even her property. It's kind of hard to believe that I live amongst these people. I, of many people, are not that intelligent. I don't know about you guys. I'm just somewhat smart. I have decent grades. I'm a goddamn junior in high school. I'm not that smart, but I do feel like my education level is above this woman's just based off what she is doing right now. <laughs> Oh, 
I couldn't guess. Maybe it's the fact you're like a goddamn Black Ops 2 zombie screaming in everyone's ear. Even after the fireworks, you're as immature as a seven-year-old, and you're like, stop, stop! The shit's over, Karen! It's done! The people are like, oh my god, fine, we'll stop, we'll move somewhere else, and you're still yelling, and then you have the audacity to ask why they're filming you. Is that really even a question? If some grown-ass woman came out of her house and started yelling at us for doing Roman candles and firecrackers and those, uh, what are they? Sparklers, then I'd be like, Oh my god, there's no way this person isn't like a skin crawler, bro. She's probably about to get on all fours and chase after us. Ethan, I am sacrificing you, and Ethan's my brother's name, by the way. I don't need to be the only person to tell you that what you're doing is not normal in the slightest. You're a grown-ass woman. If my mom didn't like something, she'd walk up very calmly, wait for the fireworks to end, and say, Hey guys, I'm gonna need you guys to go. Like, I have a baby, it's crying, or something like that. Like, a valid reason. I don't know what the hell your reason is. Maybe you have, like, PTSD from war, but... I want to say something pretty fucked, but I'm sure YouTube will take down my video, but let's just say I don't believe you've been to war. And then you still ask, why are you filming me, bro? You're not being a reasonable person. You don't have any justifiable reason for screaming your fucking ass off. Like, literally walk up, say, hey guys, I'm gonna need you to quit it. I have children that are in the house. They're very scared. I'm sorry. Can you please move? They'll be like, yeah, they would literally move. I guarantee it. These are the type of guys just popping a Bud Light. I'm sure that's a stereotypical American thing. They're probably eating some burgers, some hot dogs right now, and you're out here ruining their fun. What I'm doing is so wrong! Uh, but, but it is. I'm not gonna repeat myself, but you guys know damn well what she's doing is wrong, and if you disagree with me, go ahead and go to the comment section and have a nice argument with me. I'd love to hear it. I get it, the environment and whatnot. I understand, but man, it's the fourth. It's not something we're gonna change. I'm pretty sure Americans would rather die than stop setting off fireworks, and I've heard even my buddy 98 who lives in Canada had fireworks set off for the 4th of July, which is an American thing. Like, it's it's universal. It's not just America at this point. Your ass is literally screaming at the top of your lungs saying you're not in the wrong while you're recording me. It is common sense that the American people, like, not the American people, not in general, but these type of people give me a bad rep. How in the hell am I supposed to debate Canada versus America when people like this exist among us? Haha, uh -huh, among us, so funny. Shut, shut the f*** up. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about this. I'm pretty sure anyone can give the same take I can. I just find stupid people like this fun to make fun of on the internet, and considering I'm getting a little bit of money from it, it's even better. But before I end the video, I'm gonna play the full explanation video of the Karen freakout, and I'm also gonna play some funny 4th of July firework moments after, and I promise you they are funny, so make sure to watch that. Or don't. Have a nice day. Twitter and Discord is linked in the description. Subscribe if you're new. Adios, amigos. <laughs> yeah, just do it first, dude. <laughs> Bro, that shit was weak as a-